Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as the Zumbil Shadow. In our last episode we have been waging a vast array of holy wars, some of which we've been winning, mostly. We are losing war score in a couple of them thanks to not having occupied any of the war goal. But we will hopefully be able to advance far enough to do that before it starts to become a problem. So I think we can... Uh, well, okay, I'm not really convinced we can afford to go to speed 4, considering this dangerous looking 12,000 over here, but I think it's just going to take too long otherwise. So I'm going to go to speed 4 anyway. Start finishing these a bit faster. Okay. Seljuk's doing things. Actually, the Seljuks have no land now. So, I don't really need to have him set a special interest. Eh, why don't we keep him a special interest anyway, and we can see what happens to the remainder of the Seljuk dynasty. Since maybe that will be interesting. We're losing more sieges up here, which I am not really going to be too concerned about. And it looks like this army here is about to attack my 8,000 in the mountains. For reasons I still don't understand. We had a similar thing happen last episode as well. So our kinswoman here needs an education. She is not going to give us any opinion or anything like that, so... Give her to a random courtier of the appropriate culture, I guess. This war isn't going quite as I thought it would. I lose more men per battle than I planned, and the sieges, the sieges is going on forever. More manpower and more siege weapons is what I need. Perhaps a friend could assist me with this. I can ask my friend to join the war, this Sun Guardian. Um, ask him for some monetary help, or tell, or say that we need no help and the war will soon be won. Let's ask him to join the war. So, is he actually joining the war? Uh, dear Sun Guardian... Sarer. My duties and my family and my, and my vassals disallows me to help you at this time. Okay. He seems to be addressing this letter to himself, but I guess he means me. So our opinion of him goes down. That's fine. He wouldn't have been that much help anyway. So we won that battle, not surprisingly. My nephew asked me for a fee for his own. No. Uh, these two that we haven't taken any of the goals in are up to minus 31. And Seljuk here has become the Baron of somewhere. Okay. Having built a castle. Okay, this 300 is going to attack my 8,000. Oh, it's okay though, because they have reinforcements arriving. They'll definitely make it this time. And we can usurp a title, apparently. Oh, okay. So I guess our vassal's war was successful. Good for him. I don't think we will bother to usurp that title, though. Alright, and we have fully sieged this county. So I think we'll advance, let's see, over here. Do want to make sure that I keep my armies close together. Of 
course, this does let them get into this county and start sieging it back if they're so inclined. I think we have the numbers to attack them in there if necessary, though. And same with here, especially since it's plains. You have 5,000 in the adjacent county. Minus 36 in these two. I think we have time to complete the sieges of the counties we're in before actually going over there to siege the war goals in the two that we're losing. But we're probably going to have to deal with this 12,000 and we'd go and do that. Yeah, let's see if any of our levies are available to be raised at this point. Now we have 17,000 over here. Not 17,000, 1700. And another 4,000, which is great actually, that could be very useful. Now I think we should be safe enough to have them come over here, and we also have the armies from in this area of course. Let's get them raised and together in this county for the moment. Somebody's called in an ally, that's fine. And I'm not sure what happened to the bulk of this army over here, but they seem to have disappeared. Which I'm not going to complain about. And they keep throwing tiny armies against uh, my stack of 8,000 here. Which I don't understand, but I'm happy to let them do. And this seems to have gone down to 10,000. Alright. So since we're not worried about a large army over here anymore, I think what I can do is advance this 3,000 in here along with, let's say, half of this army. Should be large enough to ward off this 10,000. If not, we can reinforce. Especially since this is mountains, this should be okay. Right, it seems like they are happy to go there. Let's send, let's say, half of this army as well either change their mind or make sure the battle goes our way. Either is fine by me. We lost another siege down there, which is not a problem. Okay, so that is gonna turn, I think, this war in our favor once we take a uh, holding here in the Duchy of Tabaristan. I think that will do it. And then we'll have to do something about this army to turn the other one in our favor. I guess we could just ignore it and go and siege this county instead, but we're going to have to deal with it at some point. At least we know that we'll be able to lure it into the mountains there. With a small army. Yeah, you made the satrap happier. Okay. Keep doing that. 
He won a battle, apparently. And we have two children that need educating because this satrap has died. Under suspicious circumstances. Okay. Well, let's improve the opinions of some other satraps, I suppose. Okay, you have sieged this whole county, so you're headed over here now. I think that's okay. 1800 are headed in to attack my 8000, which is also okay. And there seems to be a newly raised army of what looks like mercenaries over here. It's going to give them about 5000 in that army, assuming they merge them together. Thing we might be concerned about. Uh, you're headed through here, which I guess is fine. Shouldn't have a problem with that little army. Taking lots of prisoners. Oh, and we're at 100% in this war. Okay, so let's end this. Great. So one down, five to go. Let's get this land given out. Alright, so it's beginning to look like we haven't overextended with this amount of Holy Wars and we're going to be able to manage it, so that's good. And not a ruler, my religion, my culture. Yes, an adult, and not of a great house. And I'm just going to give out the counties, and we'll worry about duchy titles later. Okay, so that frees up these armies to do other things. Are we even at war with this? We are, okay. Uh, let's see, you are staying where you are, you're headed to meet up with this army, I guess. Have... Um, let's see, we'll actually have this army go on top of that, and then this 5,000 rendezvous here for the moment. I want to be a uh, bit careful with this 10,000. Okay, somebody else has been called into another war. Alright, so uh, we should be able to siege this without taking attrition, which is fine. And it seems like this 10,000 is quite happy to attack me in the mountains here. Okay. That seems like it'll probably be a pretty good battle for me, so I'm happy to let that happen. Let's get our best leaders in charge. We'll prepare some reinforcements in case they're ready. How long is it going to take you to get here from there? Quite a while. Okay. Hopefully they won't be necessary. Now, I think we'll start the reinforcements marching right now. My daughter is of legal age and became a flamboyant schemer, okay. So things seem to have started well here. This army is doing nothing, which is okay by me. 
I think once uh, you've reinforced, you can retreat over in this direction. Let's actually see how this battle is going. It seems pretty well. I'm gonna break the center first, and then that should be that. We cornered this guy and slew him. Captured a mare. And we can invest in military tech. I guess we have been getting military tech from all these battles and sieges. We'll get organization and then maybe bump up siege equipment a couple of times as well. Probably fine. Uh, the enemy army is retreating to Kirkuk. And our army is also going there. They'll arrive on the same day. Probably doesn't matter too much who arrives first since we will outnumber them and have better morale, so we'll win the battle either way. And then we can start sieging that and reverse the negative war score in this other war. Okay, things seem pretty well under control at this point, which is great. to have destroyed all of the major armies. This 6,000 down here being the only one of any any good size that I can see left. Word stood against word, the farmers against the courtiers about damage caused to the farmer's house by a cow owned by the courtier. Let's make him compensate the farmer. And I think we'll follow this army one more time. Especially since it's into desert. And you are doing nothing useful here, so... Uh, I think we'll have you head down into the mountains, and if this army wants to attack you in there, it'll probably be okay. My nephew was not happy with my decision. He should just pay for the reparations. In fact, we're already at positive war score in that war from that battle, so... Definitely don't need to be worried about it anymore, but the... Negative war score should still be there? No, apparently not, okay. Maybe that was... Oh yeah, that was for this one. I see. This is the one where we have all the negative war scores still. Okay, that's fine. So this 6000 is... Okay, they were on the move for a second, but they changed their mind. And they are inclined to come and attack me in the mountains, I think. We'll just let them. No, they changed their mind again. Okay. So we won another battle there, captured a mare. And we are, yes, already following them back to that province, so we'll just let that happen. Okay, and at this point we'll just stay there and siege. Uh, this person died after a period of illness. Oh, the wife of the Seljuk prince, who is now unlanded? Okay. Is this the guy we were... Following? Yeah, okay, so he had, was it two counties and a barony, and now he's just unlanded. How the mighty have fallen. Okay, another siege there, and I guess we'll just have a quick check of all of these to see if we're getting much or any war score from prisoners, and then go through our dungeons and ransom some of the many prisoners that we have. We are not getting any, okay. So even if we were in danger of running out of gold, this should keep our 
uh, Holy Order in wages for a good while longer at least. And we're probably going to end up having a lot of people judged by Zoom after these wars. Okay, well, that'll do for the moment. To the Raging Clown, Nezer. Okay, that's more like the respect I'm used to. Thank you, Glorious Shah. Most excellent Shah. Most of these people know how to talk to a Shah. Okay. Afghan infidel. To the just wit Nezer. Okay. Some people are just rude, I guess. Right, I think that was most or all of the ransoms. And we're at 100% in this war as well. Let's end this one too. Now, which land was this? These two counties. Okay. Get these given away also. And of course the actual counties as well. So, that is two down and four to go. We'll have to take care of the rest of them in the next episode, though, because we're out of time. So, thanks for watching, and join me again then.